Hello, Proton Mail fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sands Three Minutes Max. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be looking at the very important times that we can pull out of USB uh, registry artifacts. Uh, now, obviously, a lot of the information we've grabbed is very important, but probably some of the most important information you're going to get is when was this thing plugged in? So let's go to the registry. So when we look at where when things were plugged in, there's uh, various artifacts that we can get from the registry. So we're going to get the first time the USB device was plugged in, the last time it was plugged in, and the last time that it was unplugged. So this is what we're after now. Uh, so let's first go to the first connected. That's going to be in our system hive. We know our current control set is control set 001. Then we're going to drop into enum. Now we're going to drop into USB store. We're going to find our device. And we're going to drop down into the serial number and go past the serial number into properties. Now we're looking for a specific GUID in here and the GUID that we're looking for is 83DA6326. It's going to be this GUID on any computer, it doesn't matter. You're looking for this GUID. Expand that sub key and we are interested in 64, 65 and 67. 0064 is the first connected date and time right here. January 16th, 2020 at that time. The last time it was connected is in 0066, and we see the time displayed here. 0067 shows the last time it was disconnected. So if we record all of those times, and then we see what we now are left with, we have the full picture. And you can see that the difference from the last time it was plugged in to the last time it was unplugged was a minute and five seconds. So we get this kind of granularity. Now, all of this may seem like, well, why did we grab this and why did we do that? But I hope that you saw as the series unfolded that there were certain pieces of information we had to grab first, even though it didn't seem like we'd need it like a GUID, in order to find information later buried in the registry. Remember, if this was easy, everybody'd be doing it. So. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this series on USB forensics. We have a couple more videos on USB coming up that explain this idea that there's not one, but two serial numbers per USB device. And I do want to spend an episode later on talking more about the volume serial number. But we're out of time today. So in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.